Hello everybody and welcome back to the Block Order. This is episode 48 in this Let's Play series. And today we will be continuing the search for a slime. Only need one slime ball, but to do that we're going to need to find a swamp. Which might be a bit hard. But anyway, in other news, I reached 100 subscribers last night, and I have today released a special 100 subscriber video, which is a tour of my very first Minecraft world. I think I've talked about it in this series before. So that's pretty neat. It's about 20 minutes. You get to see my first world and actually a bit of my second world. I play in uh, beta 1.3 because I couldn't find the save file in the original... 1.1 uh, format which is just as well because I kept playing the game after 1.1 and I had things like beds and stuff that would not have worked well and this is interesting let's uh, get down here somehow how did I get up here I don't know let's uh whoop. okay oh well well, this is quite interesting, but it's not deep enough for diamonds, so not really that interesting. Let's hope we get out of this jungle soon, because it is causing a bit of lag. More than a bit, actually. On the plus side, I'm coughing a lot less today. So we, uh, there should be less pauses in this episode and really expecting it to be basically gone by the next one although that's what I said about this episode so who knows maybe I'll just be sick for the rest of my life that would be so fun oh my lag jungles are just so laggy it's really quite ridiculous we got some melons I also need to be on the lookout for any new uh, temples can't forget that those are a thing which could be anywhere. Oh man, I'm hungry. And there's an apple. I gotta go get that. Can't forget the block hoarder thing. What is that? Some sort of gray item. Is that a sheep? It's not moving, but I think it's a sheep. Yeah. Stupid sheep. Anyway, this is the edge of the jungle apparently, so yay! No more lag. As soon as we get out of range. Where, what are my coordinates? 4,000, negative 400. Holy crap. Stupid pigs. I maybe should have slept in a bed before I came out here. Hey, look at that. That's a nice little cave. Anyway, oh my god. So many mobs. Oh god. Please. I didn't mean it. Retreat. Retreat. What the heck? That is one huge mountain. This is not looking good for the swamp theory. Who knows what I might find out here, though, so... Whatever. Exploration episode. Oh, that's an interesting spot for a cave. It's weird how trees are laggy, but mountains aren't. Hey, is that a village? Ooh. Been a while since I found a new village. I haven't found one since they added the new villager AI, actually. So this will be the first, like, properly generated village, I think. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll have slime balls, even though I know that's not even possible. Whoa, gosh, lag. Generating new chunks. Oh, a zombie and a skeleton. Not good. Oh, two zombies. You turned him into a zombie. Oh, crap. I don't get why they generate ones without doors. It has never made sense to me. Anyway, 
We've just saved their butts. Hello, guys. Hiding from the zombie? Yeah. You know you are. How did one just get hurt? Oh, God. Do they not have a chest? Oh, man. They don't have a place. They do have carrots, though. I'll just replant that. This is actually a fairly nice area. Like, it's very scenic. I could live here. Well, if I'm exploring, I should probably turn my render distance back up to 9 chunks. I only had it down because of jungle crashes. But that'll let me see a bit farther for locating possible areas. So yes, just to confirm, there is not a smith in this village, so... It was really just a place to grab a little bit of food. And get on my way. Hey, a donkey! And a baby donkey! That's cool. Seems like you only ever run into swamps when you don't want to run into swamps. Here's a dark forest, or whatever they call it now. Some more mountains. Maybe we'll run into a biome we haven't found yet, like a uh, the ones with the hardened clay. I don't think we've seen any of those yet. I mean, we found ice spikes, which is pretty rare. Have we not found any with what's it called? That's weird. What's with the cubes? Huh. We haven't found any with the, um, whatever it's called, dirt. I forget the name right now. I used to know it. The brownish dirt. Podzol, Pudzel. It's like P-O-D-Z-O-L, I think. I don't think I've seen that biome either. Hey, zombie. You gonna. Oh. Calling your friend over here? Yep. Zombies are way too smart now. Yeah, you can come kill me if you try. No, you can't. And now daytime is coming, so I'll be safe. Okay, so what's this light over here? Just a lava pool? Probably. I don't think I ever came out here. Even when I was exploring the jungle. That should be right over there. Hopefully. Yep. Oh, it's weird lava. You're going in the weird lava. And you broke my sword. Thank you. Oh, God. Hello. This is rude. This is very rude. You can't attack someone with their back turned. What kind of spiders are you? Well, that's the jungle there. Okay, so we're back in visual range. Which is maybe how I should keep things. Well, we found a village. I really... Oh my god. I really hope we can head back to the main base, either in this episode or in the next one. I know it'll take a long time to walk back, though. Even if I start heading back right now, it'd probably take me a whole episode. But that's okay, because we're in no rush. Oh, isn't there a biome with, like, really colorful trees? I seem to remember something like that. I don't know. There's so many biomes now, it's crazy. Up, up, up. Okay. Still no sign of a swamp. Oops. That could have been bad. I'm using up all my food. That's not good.
In fact, I used up all my food, except for the meat. Which, the meat is a lot more valuable because it gives saturation. And saturation is what keeps you from getting hungry right away. Can't see anything in here. This is a huge valley. Come on, let's get out of this valley. All this just because cats are still broken. Oh, and there's no snapshot this week, if you didn't know. The lack of the snapshot video should have tipped you off if you didn't pay attention to the news, but... Still no snapshots. It's getting a bit silly, in my opinion. Like, I get what he's doing, but honestly... He's been doing this for weeks now, and I would have thought it would be done by now. Oh, it looks like there's wolves near here, probably. Yeah, there they spawned in the trees. The sheep, that is, not the wolves. Oh, this is an interesting area. What is this? Oops, I pressed F2. Um, Just a forest. This has to be a flower forest, right? Yeah. I like this. It's cool looking. So there's one special biome. Now if we could just find a swamp or a hardened clay biome or a mushroom biome. This is almost like swampland, but it isn't. It's got the very thin water though. We have some smooth, slowly rising mountains up here. Look at all those flowers. It's beautiful. Let's hope we don't crash. Exploring tends to do that to us. Aside from the general lag that we also get. Okay. Oh, is that... What is that? That tree looked almost swamp-like, but I don't think it was. I think that's a dark forest. Or another flower forest. Huh. I think we're beyond the jungle now. That's interesting. This is not working. I'm going to need to head back soon. I'll head back at 15 minutes. And we'll just have to make do. And hope that the cat doesn't die because that will suck. Is that a floating island? That's a nice little cave there. This is a nice landscape. Um, oh great, fell down one layer too high or low or something. Dang it, how do I get up here? I want to see the floating island. Okay. Yep, that is definitely a floating island. And that was weird looking. Hey sheep. Don't mind me. I'm just starving to death. Now that was some effective food. Should really use that more often. I need to get a farm set up is what I need to do. Well, anyway. Let's just head over here real quick and hopefully not lag to death from running while generating chunks. Over the water. Yeah. Not hitting any swamp biomes, it looks like. We are getting some interesting formations, though. But ultimately, it was all for naught. I think I can get over to that area. And then I'll turn back, see what's on the other side of the hill. Probably going to have to head back through jungle, which isn't going to be fun. Due to lag. But at least jungles are fairly safe due to the leaves killing everything that spawns. So you don't have to worry about mobs all that much. Which is kind of the opposite of how you would expect a jungle to really be. Yep. Oh man, this is not what I was expecting from this mountain. Come on, other side of the mountain. 
Nope. Just a big forest. Okay, heading back. We wanted negative 4,000. Not negative 4,000. Negative 400z and 4,000x. I combined both of those numbers in my head into one number. Good going, brain. Well, that was a huge waste of time. Ow. That was stupid. But at least I'll heal back up, thanks to my full hunger from the last shred of food. Oh, my lag. Oh, what is going on here? Got stuck in an edge. Now, we are coming back a slightly different direction, so maybe we will run into something on the way back. A different biome, maybe another village, mob spawner, I don't know. Possibilities are endless. Most likely we'll just run into a jungle. Look at that. Lava. Okay. Eh, bonk. So, I've noticed I'm not as talkative right now because of my cough. It's made me less talkative. It's not good. But anyway, um, tomorrow I'll be starting a new series. It's a bit of a surprise. It's going to be Pokemon Green. You could consider it maybe a second part to the whole 100 subscriber special is starting a new series in a game first Nintendo game I'll be doing a proper series of which is good because a lot of my older videos are Nintendo games and they're a lot more popular than the other videos I do holy cow this lag for exploration and jungle seven will have to do so yeah Pokemon Green in Japanese I don't speak Japanese, I don't know Japanese, so that'll be funny. Okay, good. We got some melons right away. So that'll be my new uh, Monday, Friday video series now that ESO is over. Elder Scrolls Online, if you don't know the acronym. Oh, lag. So much lag. Okay. That should last us until we get back. Luckily we are on the edge, so that should reduce the lag, in theory. I think most of the lag is just generating the shadows under the trees. The game does not handle that very well right now. Look at that sand. We might actually come out to where the donkey is instead. I think that might be a good idea. I don't particularly know where that is. Oh, I like this. This is nice. But that way I can... I think I have two leashes. I think. I think I brought three. I don't know. I might only have one, in which case I'm in trouble. But I can at least grab the one I have and use it to take the cat to the other cat, and then we can breed some new cats. And I'm lagging like crap right now, so I'm just going to sit here for a second. But yeah, the uh, backup plan is to just breed quite a few cats, and that way I can just have them acting stupid, and if a couple die, it's not good, but it's not the end of the world. So, holy crap, it's still lagging. So that is the plan that we're probably going to end up having to do if this lag ends. Okay, is there anything I can... I can turn smooth lighting off. That should really help, I think. And yeah, the game looks really old now, but... You're seeing this lag. This is a bit crazy. For a game where I normally get over 30 FPS, we are dropping to... Yeah, 10 FPS probably. 
Jungles are not nice to my recording. Anyway. So, we're heading back. We're done with the jungle base for now. And some point in the future, I will go back and find the portal in the nether, make a path to it. All that great stuff, build up a base here. Might have to wait until I get a new computer to do that. However long in the future that might be. Because I don't like having to turn the graphics down. I only do it out of necessity. If I didn't love Minecraft so much, I wouldn't even be doing a series until I had a computer that I could do full graphics all the time. That's one reason why I've held off on a lot of games. Like Just Cause 2 and stuff. It's not because I don't want to do a series, it's just because I want the series to be in very good graphics settings. Which I cannot handle right now. I don't even have a screen that can do 1080p for one thing. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to run games at very good settings at 1080p. Minecraft runs like this at 720p. Can't even imagine. 1080p lag. And the file size too. I need a new hard drive. Because I am running out of space. Technically I'm already out of space. I'm just moving things to a drive that was meant to be a backup drive. But is now serving more as a storage drive for old videos. Holy lag. Let's wait a second again. Although I hear a zombie. Um. But no sign of him. He must be underground. Or behind a tree or somewhere else. I don't care. Um. No. Sounds like he's right here, actually. And I'm lagging. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh god. Okay, I think it finished loading the chunks. No, still lagging. Okay. Well, he took out my uh, woodcutting axe. So no chopping trees. Okay, this lag is bad. I need to get out of here. I'm almost... almost at the base, actually. Which means I'm still probably a thousand blocks away from the donkey. And this is bad. This area should be generated. So I'm not sure why it's lagging so much. Because surely this is the area I wandered through before when I was looking for ocelots. Maybe I didn't get quite this far. I don't know. Or maybe it just lags regardless of chunk loading. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is I need to get out of here soon. And there's a creeper. I think maybe jungles need a bit more water. That would probably reduce the lag a bit. And of course the lighting code could use a rewrite again. They've been working on the lighting code constantly. It's just there's no real good way to do it when you're dealing with thousands upon thousands of blocks. Hey, look at that. What kind of hole is that? Ah, uh, just a cave. Not a ravine. Hello, cows. Nice day to be a cow, isn't it? Except one of you died, so not really. And up. So, one thing I heard is that the uh, there's a bug fix update for Xbox Minecraft. It's either out now or coming out soon. It just fixes some of the bugs in the last update. I think they forgot to make zombies drop carrots, which is a pretty big deal. But they fixed that and some other things. Hello? Did you murder your friend? Is that why there's a dead chicken body right there? Okay, this lag. 
Let's just sit here for a second. What? That sounded like a chicken dying. I don't see him. I don't know. He's still alive. But it did sound like him getting hurt. Hey, chickens. Oh, there's some... Gotta pick up all the items I see. Okay, now how far are we? Okay, so now we're... If I went to the right, I'd run into my base. So now we just need to get a bit further in. And... Uh oh Okay, this isn't really a ravine. It's just some sort of cave. And up here. Oop. Oh gosh, lag. I'll say one thing, it was quite nice to be getting like a constant 60 frames per second in the beta 1.3. Because everything was so simple back then. Code was much less complicated because there was a lot less... What is that? Is that the end? Could it be? The desert. Which means the donkey should be over there, but I'm going to go ahead and get out. So this is a familiar area, then. We've been on this desert. In fact, I think this is where I tamed a cat, isn't it? That then died? Didn't that one die? Pretty sure it did. I went through there and it died at some point. Or is that the one that actually lived? I don't know. But I do remember this area. Look how much nicer the frames are now. Just getting out of the jungle and suddenly it's so fast. We're not even really out of the jungle yet, because still about half of the screen is jungle. Oh, hello, dangerous mobs. Okay, this is farther away than I thought it would be. Unless I'm heading the wrong way. Well, as long as I stick on the edge of the jungle, I should be fine. In theory. Unless that wasn't the spot I thought it was. Let's get up here. Hopefully that was the spot I was thinking of. Otherwise we're somewhere else and I don't know where. Hello sheep. Now this is looking right. I hope. Horses. And some sort of dangerous cave. Up we go. Uh oh. Dodge the mobs. Where is my donkey? I did put a torch next to him, I think. So I shouldn't miss him at night. Come on. I think it was right past this forest edge here. Just right over here. Is that... Oh god. And I've used up all my stuff. Don't mind me, angry mobs. Don't mind me. I'm just starving and lost. Nope, there it is. We made it back just at the end of the episode. That was not much progress to be made, but I did find a new village. Which I forgot to check the coordinates on, so we can't ever go back. What the heck? Really? You suck. 
Okay, so the cat should be right here, yes. This is my only leash. Right? Yeah. That's not good. Well, anyway. We will take the donkey over and get the cat, I guess. No, I probably shouldn't take him. Just because reasons. So we'll put him in here. And climb out. And where did that block go? Maybe I picked it up, but I thought I already had three. Who knows? I'm out of food. Oh no, I got an apple. That's good. So let's eat that. So next episode, I'll go get the cat, bring him back here. We'll do a little bit of breeding. And then we'll head back. And if I pass a um, swamp, I might do something with that. But otherwise, it'll just be a straight line back, however long that takes. Anyway, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.